uh, today to kind of talk to you about uh, where Kalina is going and in retrospect, kind of where we've been and how we've um, landed where we are. Um, so in the past you know, decade or so, Kalina has done a great job of putting on conferences and different meetings. And, and we've always, uh, as a board, the last few years have really wanted to kind of do more uh, in the 91 community and for the profession. Um, so we um, sought the services of a lobbyist uh, last year and really kind of in conjunction with AB 1945, which I'm sure, as you know, is, is the bill that would uh, classify uh, 911 dispatchers as uh, first responders in the state of California. And we were very successful at that. And uh, with COVID and, and all the things uh, with canceling our conference uh, for this year, uh, we were really able to put a lot of energy into that last year. Uh, and, but now that it's passed, what do we do now? Um, so and what's interesting is, is as we've uh, really taken a legislative class again, uh, since uh, I personally didn't pay a lot of attention in high school, um, learned a lot uh, in this last year about that process and about what needs to happen. And now we're really delving more into um, that part uh, and making sure that um, 911 as a whole, not just the dispatchers, but all the infrastructure uh, will be strong uh, into the future. And there's just been so many bills uh, that we've been able to kind of weigh in on. Uh, for example, AB uh, 341, uh, which is uh, Mike McGuire's bill that talks about having uh, the infrastructure, all these wireless sites to have backups, uh, the ability to have backups for a minimum of 72 hours uh, versus now um, in the wildfires that we've had in, in recent years, uh, when the network goes down, that's a huge problem uh, for your communication, especially getting into the public safety network. So we've been able to weigh in on that. You know, 988 is the, the next big thing as a nation uh, that uh, we've been weighing in on. Uh, 988 is going to be the new uh, national mental health uh, crisis line, uh, similar to 911. Uh, so people are having mental health crises. You know, they're going to be calling 988 instead of 911 and kind of weighing in on, you know, do we need to respond? Is an armed response? Is a law enforcement agency going to be appropriate? Or is this other 988 going to be appropriate? And how do we uh, differentiate between the two? And how do we protect our people liability wise uh, in the event of they need to make a decision as far as who should go um, and, and those kinds of things, which is obviously paramount uh, in our mind. So we've been very fortunate that way. Uh, this week, actually, as well, was uh, Nina's 9-1 goes to Washington. Uh, so we've had the ability to talk with different Congress uh, people. I've actually had two Zoom meetings today, uh, Congressman uh, Eschew, uh, and I'm sure all you're familiar with uh, Congressman, uh, Congresswoman uh, Norma Torres, and I had an ability to talk with her this morning about the different legislation. Uh, as you know, the LIFT Act, uh, the Infrastructure Act that uh, they're putting together uh, on the federal level has $15 billion dollars. Uh, and next generation 91 funding. Um, and there has been uh, some discussions uh, on a lot of different fronts about some of the wording uh, in that. And if the wording is not changed uh, the way it is currently today, uh, California will not receive a dime uh, of that 91 funding. So the goal is, is with some of the conversations we're having today and throughout the next couple of weeks with those uh, Congress uh, members is to basically say, hey, there's some wordsmithing here uh, that, that we need to do um, as a nation, uh, but also specifically to California to make sure that we um, can get some of that money. Uh, because obviously, as you know, it's gonna, it's gonna take a lot of money. Uh, Next Generation I one is obviously here. Uh, we're, uh, the state is in the process of rolling it out there in Tuolumne County uh, this week. Um, and that'll be a major milestone. And uh, I believe the first one in the nation uh, so we're definitely uh, on the cutting edge of that. Uh, the other legislation that we talked to Norman Torres about uh, this morning was obviously the SAVES Act, uh, which would be the federal uh, legislation that would have all of uh, the entire nation be first responders. Uh, and uh, quite frankly, with uh, the discussions with her this morning, uh, that the firefighters are not in support of that. Uh, they're worried about, um, they have a lot of light duty assignments that uh, have them work in dispatch. Uh, and they're worried that uh, changing our status of first responder would then prevent them uh, from those light duty assignments. Uh, so it's, there's definitely a roadblock there, uh, not something that's insurmountable. 
uh, but definitely need to start to have those uh, those conversations. Uh, as a board uh, with um, COVID and all these things, we have these Zoom meetings as well. Uh, and I think the power of our organization, uh, we are the largest um, chapter, uh, state chapter for NINA. Uh, we have over 1,100 members strong. Uh, and the power of our organization is our people. Uh, so finding ways such as this, uh, Zoom, uh, getting our people together as, as much as possible, I think, is a benefit because we learn so much from each other. Uh, there's been so many changes that have happened uh, to, uh, that, that will always happen, truly. Uh, but to kind of hear what other agencies are doing uh, with interoperability or with some of the restrictions that we've had now with radios and with the encryption and all of those things, it's nice to kind of just kind of bend each other's ear about what you're doing. Uh, so we can kind of go, hey, if that's working for you, that's great. Let's try that on this side. Uh, but also, too, uh, here's what we did and it didn't work. Uh, and you might want to kind of consider that as you're looking at um, different avenues to kind of fix different things. So uh, we're also looking at, you know, the future. So uh, this year's conference that we did uh, cancel was going to be on Super Bowl weekend, uh, which I'm sure you may or may not agree is a terrible weekend. Uh, so these weekends fill up or these weeks fill up really fast. So the Calmina board is already looking at plans for 20, uh, 2024, 2025, and 2026. And actually, Keith uh, from Rapid SOS, one of our commercial board members, uh, was a part of a group that uh, last month went down to SoCal uh, looking at different venues to try to see uh, where the future uh, of Calmina will be. Last year's conference is one of the largest conference, conferences we've had. Uh, so, and, and that just continues to grow, especially as we're uh, on the cutting edge of Next Generation I-1, that uh, educational opportunity for people to meet with vendors, uh, to meet with you know, their uh, cohorts, uh, and see how they're doing and how they're adjusting to all this information technology. There's just a lot of more and more information uh, that's coming into these PSAPs, and we need to find the best way to kind of dissect that information and to understand it so that we can give that information to our, our partners out in the field to, to make sure that they're safe and to make sure that they have uh, the necessary tools to do their job effectively. Uh, you know, the other thing, one of my other focuses this year as the president, uh, as we expand is really looking for other opportunities to kind of grow as a board. Uh, so right now there's seven members, uh, two of them being commercial, but uh, with doing all of this, uh, not just being conference planners anymore, with adding this legislative piece and seeing the amount of work and the amount of bills that we uh, as an organization can um, provide uh, feedback on, whether sometimes we support a bill and we write a letter or we don't support a bill and we write a letter and basically say, here's the reasons why and, and potentially this is how it could work uh, to, for the betterment of the group is, is um, we're working through all that. And, and um, so, in the social media piece of this, right? So there's just a lot that goes to it. Uh, and there's five uh, managers uh, on the board and then the two commercial VPs. Uh, so to get our schedules together, uh, sometimes is a huge challenge. Uh, luckily, actually, Zoom has helped out a lot uh, with, the, with that regard. Uh, we definitely should have, if we had a, a time clock, we should have rewind the clock and we should have all invested in Zoom uh, and GameStop. We should have uh, done both of those things. So. Uh, I will be uh, actually at the uh, APCO conference uh, in San Antonio this year, and I uh, would appreciate the opportunity if any of you want to get together uh, and talk shop uh, about what's going on for you and, and how uh, Calmina uh, with CPRA can work together. I would um, appreciate that opportunity. Uh, other than that, unless uh, anyone has any questions, uh, I am uh, done here. Thank you for the opportunity to speak to you today. Hey, uh, Don, I will see you in San Antonio. We'll have some fun out there. Um, hey, quick question for you.